So how good is a 4K image from your microscope? Well, we find out today when we take an in-depth look at the all-new Excellus 4K camera from AccuScope. Welcome to Good Morning Microscope. My name is Tom from Voxel Microscopes, and this is the show where we sit down, have ourselves a cup of coffee in my kitchen, and take a look at some of the latest and greatest gadgets being released for microscopy. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Excellus 4K camera from AccuScope, their latest release, and a follow-up to the Excellus HD. When the Excellus HD was released a few years ago from AccuScope, it was really unlike any other microscopy camera on the market. Not only could you control this like a traditional microscopy camera through USB 2 into a PC, you could also send the live image through HDMI into one of their integrated retina displays or a monitor of your choice with built-in software. You had complete camera control, you can capture images, videos, do basic measurements and annotations all without the need for a PC. So now AccuScope has released the Excellus 4K. It has all the features of the original HD camera in 4K resolution. So outside of the obvious difference in resolution between 1080p and 4K, there's a few other differences with the new Excellus camera. With the new 4K camera, you do have HDMI output, 4K at 30 frames per second to a retina display or monitor of your choice via HDMI. There's also a USB 3 interface with upgraded software that includes live tiling and live extended depth of field. AccuScope has also included an ethernet connection so you can stream your live images within a local network. All right, so now we have the Excellus 4K hooked up to the stereoscope, which is the AccuScope 3075. You can see the live preview here. If I zoom in and I zoom out, I have a nice 4K image at 30 frames per second. And even though we're not connected to a PC, we still have complete camera control. We can capture eight megapixel images. We can capture 4K video, all directly to a USB jump drive. And to access the settings, you just take your mouse. There is an included wired mouse. Alternatively, you can use a wireless mouse. Just move the cursor all the way to the left or the right edge of the screen to access those settings. All right, so let's take a look at the onboard software when running through HDMI. Here you can see I have my capture icon. This is going to save an 8 megapixel image directly to the USB jump drive. So below that I have my settings icon. If I toggle on my camera settings, I have auto exposure. I can uncheck that for a manual exposure. EV is my target brightness setting. And down below that, I have the traditional camera controls, sharpness, denoise, gamma, contrast, saturation. These are all pre-capture settings. So whatever I see on the screen is the exact image that's going to be saved when I capture. So below that, we have automatic white balance, which works perfectly in just about every single situation. But again, manual white balance is there if you'd like to tweak your images. So with the camera icon, the video camera icon, I can easily capture a 4K video. And so you can see I'm, I'm moving around my stink bug. And as soon as I'm finished with my video, I can click on that video camera icon again, and it will now save this to the jump drive. We also have the option to save the TIFF, which was not present in the previous HD camera. So my right menu has my calibration settings. I also have a vertical and a horizontal mirror. This way I can have the correct orientation on the screen that I have through my microscope. There's also a digital zoom. So if I'm in between objectives or I've reached the end of the zoom range on my stereo microscope, the digital zoom can assist. There's also a mask feature. So I'm going to draw a region of interest. This is great for teaching if you want to outline a certain region. And with the scroll wheel inside of the box, I can change the size of that box. And if I scroll on the outside, you can see I'm changing the opacity of the background. 
So below that we have our browser. So this is going to allow us to look at all of the videos and still images that we've captured to the jump drive. So here I'm going to play through the video that we just captured. So using the arrow icons, I can scroll through the images and videos. If I'd like to delete anything from the jump drive, I can use the X on the right hand side. It will prompt me to click OK to make sure that I really want to delete that image. Below that we have a comparison feature. So now I'm, I'm imaging on the right hand side the live image from the microscope and on the left hand side is an image that I've previously captured. There's also a cross line and a ruler as well as a freeze feature. So there you have it. This is the built-in software when running through HDMI into either the retina display or your own monitor. All right, there you have it, the brand new Excellus 4K camera from AccuScope. These are available now on voxelmicroscopes.com. If you'd like an in-person demonstration and you're in Maryland, D.C., Virginia, Ohio, West Virginia, Western Pennsylvania, or Delaware, you can email me at tom at voxelmicroscopes.com. We can give an in-person demonstration or we can ship out a camera and you can test it for yourself. So do you want your very own Excellus 4K camera? Well, we're giving one away. So all you have to do is visit voxelmicroscopes.com and enter your details. I'll put a link in the description box below and we're gonna do the drawing on the 29th.